she played victim and put the blame on me. Hi there, welcome to Reddit Goat channel. Today we are going to have another unbelievable cheating story. But before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our daily cheating stories. I'm, 29M, wife, 29F, and we have two beautiful girls under 4 years old. Bear in mind my wife suffers from depression. At one point, was hospitalized and was diagnosed as being suicidal. She takes medication or at least should be taking medication as instructed. I caught my wife having an affair back in December 2020. I didn't find out until a month later, January 2022, when my two-year-old daughter gave me my wife's cell phone since it was out in the open in the living room. The lights popped up due to an incoming text message. The moment I got the phone, I noticed the text message said I love you. I recognized the name, it was a close friend of hers, and my heart dropped. Not from that message alone, but the messages that were exchanged before. I was filled with anger, shock, disappointment, and darkness. I couldn't believe I was experiencing what I consider a nightmare. When I confronted my wife with her phone, I asked her what is this? What is going on? I kid you not, the first thing that comes out of her mouth is why are you even looking at my phone? From there, I was even more angry than before. Could not believe what came out of her mouth. She didn't feel sorry until further down our conversation. However, now that I think about it, her sorry wasn't sincere because I had to dig it out of her. Even then, it's not how I would act at all if I was in her position. Anyhow, she tells me her side of the story and confirms she had sexual intercourse with this guy on multiple occasions. She emphasized that she was super depressed, wasn't happy at the house and that I wasn't giving what she needed nor was I truly listening to her for a while. In general, she tried to play the victim and blame me for her actions. Of course, I did not know how to react knowing what I know now so I took the blame like a fool. I literally blamed myself for her cheating. Devastation and heartbreaking doesn't come close to how I felt and how I feel now just thinking about it. I do not wish this type of behavior on anyone. Fast forward one month later, I decided that I wanted to continue our relationship and try to reconcile, but the only way for it to work was for her to break the affair and block this guy from all forms of social media outlets, messaging apps, etc literally erase this home wrecker from our family. She did that and I was there when she made the phone call and blocked him on all social media outlets. A year passes, and while we had some rocky moments, I felt like things were getting better. We continued to see a couple's therapist once a week, and that lasted for six to seven months. We ended the sessions thinking we no longer needed them and continued to practice what we gathered from the sessions. It's now February 2022, on a Saturday morning. I woke up at 5.30 a.m. to feed our cat. I went back to our bedroom and noticed her phone was out next to her. I simply wanted to close the phone and get back to sleep, but noticed it was the AP's username. I could not believe what I saw. I paused for a moment thinking this was all, but a nightmare. I didn't scroll through the messages because that was more than enough for me. Everything that I thought ended a year ago all came back flashing before my eyes. This time, I was calm, collective, and didn't shout or scream in anger like I did the first time. I woke her up and asked who is this? What's going on? Duh. She didn't say a word for 5 to 10 minutes. It was complete silence. She then proceeds to explain that once again she wasn't happy, felt depressed, and didn't really stop having feelings for this guy. However, he only reached out to check up on me to make sure I was alive. At that point, I just couldn't trust what she said at all. The second chance, the little trust I still had for her, spat right back into my face. From there, she didn't apologize right off the bat. She tried to play the victim justifying why she did what she did and that it was my fault for thinking we didn't need to continue couples therapy after the 6-7 to seven months. I took a walk outside for 30 minutes, came back and said I want a divorce. I can't continue punishing myself even though I still love you. Ever since then, I've continued to question myself. My self-esteem has never been this damaged before in my entire life. I believe marriage is sacred because I was raised with that mindset. So now, we are in the process of getting a lawyer to prepare for the divorce process. I'm still trying to process everything, speaking with my friends for support, and so on. Once we are divorced, I plan to tell her family why we divorced rather than her trying to hide the truth, but what do you guys think? Should I? I feel like I should ensure they don't believe any lies that may come out of her mouth to suit her own agenda. Lastly, why do cheaters like to play victim the moment they are caught? Why do cheaters blame the betrayed spouse? Why do I question my own sanity when I'm not the one who cheated? 
Here are some of the best comments from our community. She is a narcissist just like my ex. My ex has never said sorry for her affair. You had to drag it out of her. This process is going to get very frustrating for you. She will play the victim role very well. Exclamation mark. Tell her family now. She not once stopped the affair, she got better at hiding it. File for primary custody of physical custody of your daughter and you can make it a permanent stipulation and a divorce and custody agreement that as long as she's with the AP she can't be around her daughter because he's not allowed around your daughter you can do that. But you have to give them the AP's first and last name and also I suggest that you get a father's rights attorney who specializes in father's rights and who is a pit bull of a divorce litigator to your benefit. That's called gaslighting and it's manipulative narcissistic behavior. You need to get out of there ASAP. Add something similar. This is mental illness and antisocial behavior. Seek help for you. What this woman did was traumatizing. You will need years to recover. Oh man I'm sorry you had to go through this op. But she is trying to blame you but it's all her fault. Don't let this get to your self-esteem. This is her issue. She's gaslighting you. Exclamation mark. Those who cheat have low self-esteem and relationships are a form of validation for them. Their self-worth depends on the attention they get, so when they don't get the kind of attention like the early days of the relationship they feel worthless and play victim. It is not about you that they cheat, it's about them. We all go through that phase where we blame ourselves for their cheating. You should never blame yourself and should leave her. Here's the second story. Hi everyone, so I, 28, was cheated on by my girlfriend, 27. She lived at my house rent-free for about 8 months and then I found out she was talking to another guy. She explained that she only did it because I was working so much and she felt unloved. We talked and decided to take a break and work on our relationship and she would move out during the break. I gave her all the time she needed to move out which she told me would be 2 months to find a decent place in her price range. Well I found out shortly after she was still talking to the guy and planning on having a relationship with him after she moved out of my place. So I told her she needed to leave the night I found out and she could pick up her stuff later. I did let her take all the important things she needed the night she left. Now she's telling me she's going to have a lot of her family here the day she moves out to make it quicker. I feel like she's trying to intimidate by bringing a lot of people. So instead of letting her pack her stuff and pack it with her family I'm thinking of boxing up all her stuff and putting it outside the day she's supposed to come so no one comes into my home. My question is, is that a good idea or should I just let her have her way? Update. Hey everyone so I packed all of her stuff and put it outside in my driveway for her to pick up. So even though she was really upset about that she got all of her belongings without incident but definitely tried to antagonize me while she was here. The crappiest thing she did was bring the guy she's been talking to. That upset me and I initially kicked him off my property but then I thought fuck it let him on and talk to him before he leaves so I told the guy before he left hey man run away from her, don't make the same mistake I did lol after seeing the way I was acting and the way she was acting I hope he'll listen. So hopefully no more terrible girlfriend in my life and cheers to all you for the good advice. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.